hey guys so today's video is about converting a 6 volt rx100 to 12 volt for that what you need to do is you need to remove this cover the entire cover so for that you need an impact screwdriver uh, using the impact screwdriver you need to remove all this you need a 10 mm uh, spanner to remove this bolt and you have to remove this lock using a uh, flathead screwdriver so I'm, I'm not going to cover what you need to do uh, to remove this cover because uh, it's it's pretty straightforward uh, and if you guys need me to show you how to remove this then probably I can create another video but this is not of importance here so then uh, once this cover is off you will see the magnet inside I'll, I'll show you uh, an RX-135 magnet how it looks like but uh, the RX-100 magnet is slightly different so uh, right now I have an RX-135 uh, engine open so I can show you that um, they are pretty similar uh, the only difference is the holes and the shape of the magnet is slightly different so I'll, I'll take before you before I take you there I'll show you a set of tools that you need for the entire exercise uh, this is the impact screwdriver I was talking about you need an 18 mm and 17 mm socket I don't remember exactly uh, which size the nut is we will find out but if I am not mistaken it is a 17 mm and you need a ratchet or a handle then what you need is a special tool if you are opening an RX100 this is a RX100 uh, generic uh, magnet puller and this tool will lock the magnet so i'll take you to the engine and then probably show you how all of this so what you done. see here is an rx 135 engine it is slightly different so this yeah it is an 18 mm so this nut is what we need to remove the magnet is slightly different in an rx uh, 100 it has like either two big holes or four holes like you know uh, you can probably I'll, I'll put a picture of how the RX100 uh, magnet looks like uh, and then what you need to do is you need to use uh, a magnet holder something like this so it will go and lock into one of those two uh, holes and once it is locked into place now what you can do is you can remove this nut okay so I'll show you guys what needs to this be done. Uh, again an RX 135 magnet so what you do is you put this magnet puller here uh, the RX 100 magnet has a lock I mean a thread so you thread it and it stays tight and then once you tighten this shaft um, this thing starts coming out and this in turn pulls the magnet out so that is how the magnet comes out in an rx100 so like i said the picture of the rx100 magnet will be on the screen so once uh, you pull the magnet out there is a Woodruff key here that key locks the magnet onto the crank so that key looks like a half broken tablet you know the tablet that you like a par paracetamol tablet that you have when you get a fever so keep that very safely so once that is taken off uh, the uh, stator plate will be visible the stator plate is where you need to do the modifications uh, the stator plate is held with two screws so I'll now show you guys how the stator plate looks like I've just taken it out so this is how the stator plate looks like there are two screws on either side uh, those are like the Phillips head or the star screws so you take those off and there is a neutral switch that comes here where the neutral wire gets connected you remove that as well uh, there is a small clip that would come here so once you remove all the three you can take the 
straight up plate out i've just shown you this so that uh, you get an idea of how it will look like in the uh, engine so yeah so this is the state of place this is what needs to be modified uh, this is your pulsar coil this is your source coil so these two coils uh, can remain same in your rx100 you don't need to change these but you need to change this coil so this coil is the biggest of all this is the fattest coil this is the lighting coil okay so you need to know some basics of how you need to do soldering to accomplish this so this has two wires which you can see and those wires need to be soldered so this is an rx135 uh, so the colors of the wires might be different from an rx100 but you get the idea the biggest coil is connected with two wires so you need to remove this clip once that clip is off you can pull these wires out and once it is out under the insulation you will see soldering so you just need to solder there is no polarity that you need to look at it's you know you can connect it either way this is just a coil so that's okay so once that is taken care of you need to get a new coil and remove this coil with these two screws uh, solder the new coil into place and put the screws back and then once it is put back you place the coil back into the engine uh, again make sure that the uh, pulsar coil is uh, you know in this four o'clock position you can also by mistake connect it in other ways like you know you can rotate it but shouldn't do that because if that happens then the bike might start in reverse so this is where you would uh, screw it uh, just look for this rubber grommet the rubber grommet should go in this hole so just keep that in mind so once this is done just install back the uh, neutral wire as well and then just you just need to connect the connectors the connector for a 100 is different this is an rx135 again so uh, the 100 connector will have a three pin switch so this is an rx100 uh, compatible cdi uh, so you just need to plug those uh, once this is done uh, now that your bike is producing 12 volt electricity the next thing that you need to do is you need to get an rx135 rr unit so this is an rx135 rr unit it has four pins it looks similar i don't recommend the swiss brand it is not a good brand so don't buy this if you can get um, an rx135 oe um, rr unit it is good otherwise try to get a, a rr unit from a libero crux or a gladiator um, they are all same uh, so you know some shopkeepers might not know this so if you ask for rx135 rr unit they might not give you so just ask for uh, crux gladiator uh, libero or rx135 rr unit so once this is replaced now your bike is actually producing 12 volt electricity so the next thing that you need to do which is most important is you replace your battery your 6 volt battery won't work anymore with this so you change that put a compatible 12 volt battery there are batteries made by Exide, Amaron, uh, a lot of companies so you know just look for whatever is available uh, in your area buy the best one i do not want to recommend any battery because I've had bad experiences with almost all batteries so I won't recommend that. So once the battery is changed now what you need to do is you need to change all the bulbs. The bulbs in your pilot uh, lamp, your headlight, your tail light everything needs to be changed. Not even a single bulb will work. Indicators everything because indicators and all are now 6 volt bulb. So once you do this change you have to convert it into 12 volt. So once that is done. Uh, your bike should be working fine uh, the 12 volt uh, bulb that you need is a 45 watt bulb okay so make sure you get that and you go to a shop ask for a normal tail light bulb they will give you so the tail light bulb that you get now would be a 12 volt 
similarly all indicator bulbs you need to change you need not change the holder for the indicators etc uh, but for the headlight if you want if the new bulb doesn't come in the same shape you can change the holder but there are some compatible bulbs which are 12 volt but they come in the old holder shape so do that so other than that there is nothing much to be changed uh, you also need a 12 volt horn horn i forgot that uh, plus a 12 volt flasher unit so these two also needs to be changed so other than that uh, there is nothing else so once you change all this your bike will become a 12 volt bike uh, so that's it that's how an rx100 is converted into a 12 volt rx100 so if you want me to show you step by step uh, on how to remove these things i can do that uh, but my 100 is already converted to 12 volt so in order to show you guys i will have to just take it apart so let me know you know if you want detailed instructables on this in a video i can do that but it is pretty straightforward uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask and that's about it now enjoy better lighting with your 12 volt rx100 thanks a lot bye